Yeah, all of exits and entries. And it does not help walking onto the rail in front of an oncoming train. Hello, bicycles, my name is Hotel C, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Last time we um, reorganized some of our factories, we moved the uh, copper wire production up here and then set the green circuits right next to it. Uh, the old factories are still there, at least um, partially, um, where they have not yet run out of material. And here we can see uh, we have a surplus of uh, of iron plates but no wires um, not quite sure how that will probably happen because uh, the, the distribution is not not one on one uh, but today we want to focus on improving uh, our uh, system here um, our network uh, because um, we noticed that this waiting here is not good um, we noticed here that uh, we originally only had this this entry here so uh, in the meantime added a few more but we are still missing two on this side and then we probably also want to connect that up clean out the uh, old factories uh, and see what else we can improve in our network so we have uh, a better flow faster delivery shorter uh, logistic uh, distances uh, so we can pump out more uh, with the with the same uh, amount that we have speaking of pumping out more uh, how many rockets uh, have we pumped out nine by the looks of it so um let's send that train on its way and then let's queue up a bit of a uh, bit of uh, research um, this might be uh, interesting but also mining productivity um, I mean that could help as well with um, with the with the defense if we have to go out again and uh, and kill more um, uh, more nests that was our train there and it has to come in from can it come yeah has to come in from there and go to there so it has laid out the way so at least it can find the unloading station here um, I then hope it also works out with the, with the signaling it was a bit uh, precarious putting putting that in and um, it's yeah looks not really well well designed but uh, we had to squeeze it in in a in a tight space so i i really hope uh, uh, this this works out in in the end
And there the train comes in. We're unloading and once again up. Now we probably also need to, to set up the inserters so that the new science packs uh, are also passed further along and uh, not only one lab has to do all the research. So I will do that and then we will tackle some uh, rail network improvements. Here we see one of the issues this train wanted to leave but uh, somehow was blocked in their track and that basically freed up the station which then this train decided oh three stations uh, let's go there uh, going in here and thereby blocking the exit of this train this is something that I understand will be fixed with the next update of uh, Factorium, uh, where this station only becomes available when the train has actually left, not when the train uh, sees, okay, let's go to the next station. So we need a, a signal here so that the train going in there will wait here and uh, what we can do to fix that is let's back this train up here and the other one can get out of the way and Yeah, now another train has decided to uh, could choose that that station and we are full here. This one. So maybe what we what we can do is because that's not an ideal place for the train to be uh, waiting let's send him over here that should still leave trains able to work their way around and then we have another thing down here because here we basically we have a chain signal we have the next chain signal and then basically here we also want to have this signal and on the exit we can have such a signal that should help and probably same issue here on this side and here we want it like that yeah signal is not an easy thing to do um, but I have still not come around to do the uh, other exits and entries and it does not help walking onto the rail in front of an oncoming train so I will head back up there gather my gear um, fix those train exits and then we can see what we we do uh, um, around here looks like we have quite a bit of traffic traffic going on here uh, more train jams um, 
another situation uh, uh, that we had uh, just resolved uh, in the last clip. However, now I think I fixed the signaling up here um, and also added the, the two more entries. Uh, also with uh, signaling there. Should be correct. Move that one one back so it can actually work for this line have one signal there one signal there so that should work better now and i was wondering as we saw beforehand that this station had five trains queued up uh, if we might need a second station for the same um, uh, for waiting for green circuits because it is an issue if we have more waiting bays uh, thrown all over the map uh, because then um, the trains uh, do not go uh, around evenly but as we have now started to concentrate many things uh, here that are basically related to each other and uh, basically form uh, a production queue you know the wires go into the green circuits the green circuits then go into the red circuits and all those things so everything is close by so we have shortened the uh, ways or the lengths trains need to go to get from the waiting bay to the unloading station or the loading station and that should help so i think we could add a, a second bay here if that's what's needed i think uh, when we saw five trains queued up there that was uh, more an issue of the the jam that we had which has resolved by now and so has the queue there so let's go down here crossing the high speed main line and extend this line down here to connect with this one and we do it in this weird form because it's just not how we would need it uh, we need to go on back and then yeah if we do it that way this works and here of course um, let's see yeah and stood on the tracks again so i have to wander up here again to do the signaling but i think this uh, connecting train line this should help um, with our um, traffic and what i also did is uh, down here at our power plant i increased the limit of uh, steam that we store or that we want to store before uh, reigniting or inserting new fuel into the reactor uh, by factor five because um, what we have seen uh, a few times you can see here that the green spikes that's where the accumulators kicked in 
and that basically means um, uh, we had not enough uh, uh, we had higher need on uh, electricity uh, that we could produce and possibly that can still happen uh, exactly at that uh, uh, switch um, where we go from uh, oh um, we don't need to uh, uh, run our reactor to uh, we need the energy because the reactor needs to uh, heat up before the turbines kick in but I think if we store more steam um, then um, the the risk that we run out of steam before the the reactor has heated up enough um, should be uh, should be negated. Um, do we have a train jam up here? Ah, missing signals. So. I'll fix that in a moment. While on the subject of improving our network, I every so often come across uh, roundabouts like this that just lack proper signaling. And I try to uh, go about it and, uh, and fix that, but you can see in in some cases when the pass is not that heavily traveled uh, run out of signals uh, then it's, it's not really an issue but for example now that we made this connection this roundabout not being signaled uh, correctly was an issue because then trains that want to go north south and the other direction just queued up on either side because they could not enter the roundabout at the same time even if they would not cross pass so signaling there is really helpful and with all the new things, the high-speed rail that we added, we have things like that, um, that are just leftovers from uh, the old setup. Um, and we can simplify this probably want a bit of um, power going through there so now power fix and we have quite a few of uh, these odd things uh, all over our base and we can improve there as well because uh, every time um, a train needs to go around the corner it slows down and uh, then has to speed up again so that's all time they are losing and here for example we can simplify this by taking that part out and moving that a bit over and connect that straight. And because this would be a, a two square setup anyway, 
And it's just uh, the, the, the weird thing. Not again. Not again! Um, that, that we have going on there. So, that's then basically becoming a connection line from above here to our main line down here. And here we have a similar issue. We have the leftover of a roundabout um, that we basically don't need any longer. Don't need that part. We can just go out here and then connect like that. And if the train then has to take this curve, that's that's more optimal than of course here. We also can straighten this out and this has the the drawback that if a train comes from are they coming in from here anyway so actually what we could do then is do this Yeah, that should somehow work. And by connecting here the outer lines downward, uh, that um, leaves a bit open the, the congestion that we have here on the roundabout because trains going down or coming up would not go through the roundabout, but would uh, branch off here before the roundabout. However, the downside there is then uh, if a train wants to go down there, it has to make its way all over here to turn around so it can do that. But then maybe it would take another, another way anyway. All right, um, I think you have seen uh, what I need to do and there are quite a few other tidbits that just need uh, that need fixing uh, like these ones. Um, maybe we also uh, can have a look at uh, this waiting bay that we extended to and three squares at some point, but I think now we don't have that long queues here anymore. So maybe we can shorten it again and then basically really have the, the connection down here. But um, we will continue optimizing everything also in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not, um, so you will be uh, aware when the next one is coming out. All right, till then, goodbye.